Hello, welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. <sighs> Let me try that again. Oh. Yeah, it's right thing to do. I think I should get rid of those. I just won't no, I won't get as much done as I can. Uh, oh, lose Max Life thing? No. Maybe it is. You do uh, like that one, don't you? Of course I do. And this one. So well, don't forget, forget about it one drunken night. I'm so that sounds nice. I, what do we need? It was 25 thieves I don't have a chance. Either food, max life or well, not max life, because I'll start like killing spirits. What's this? 25 charge bashes, yeah. You can see it happening. You still need food to survive. You don't starve. If you fail to so. take tokens with you, you will lose the opportunity to open new cards. Oh well, stop! Even so, too many tokens can weigh you down I and know. make your challenges harder. Yeah, damn it. Stop it. This last century has been, for me, a blessed relief. Oh. You have pulled me away from eternity, and in the process, I have lost something fundamental. What did you lose? Oh, apart from half of your face. Would you? I admire that you have other skills beyond violence. Thank Yet, you. if there's one thing that the usurper has taught me, it's that violence can sometimes answer questions that otherwise have none. It's good against traitors. So this is where we go. In those other symbol not reserved as fighters like. We're gonna be fine. Who caught me on it when we're dying, okay? Yes, that's a sword. Well honed and well worn. I'll have you know my friend here is killed far better than you. Said nope. Oh, I love this skill and sword combo. Nice and clean. Treasure. Back and to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Nope. I didn't. Can, Can you claim this token? The Marty Fernand Woods block your path. We tried entering the forest now as make camp at the fringes of it. Oh really? Okay. Victory, you are learning. You set up camp in a clearing on the edge of the forest. The night is uneventful. As dawn breaks, you hear a cheerful whistle. A burly woodcutter strives in the forest with remarkable confidence. Let's wait for him. Before midday, you hear the woodcutter's jovial whistle again. He has returned with a large bundle of dark black wood on his shoulder. Make your way with him. Nicely Thank done. You. After another day of rainfall, the marshlands swell into a swamp. Water and mud obscure the path ahead. As you press on, every direction begins to look the same. Okay. Please. Thank you. With some luck, you find your way to higher and drier ground. Back on the path, you continue your journey. Okay, let's turn back. Yep, I'm definitely entering a competition to win some gold. Because gold is always nice. Yay! 
nhé. Too many words obscure the actual truth of the matter. Sometimes simple actions tell all. Approaching Draper's gates, you notice a woman of enormous stature dressed in a blue cleaning and leather apron. Free smiting her mask hang from her waist. The woman rushes forward and embraces you, burying you in her dress. The gods be praised, she cries. I thought you'd surely be dead. She releases you and looks you up and down. Look at you, she says before you can get word in. That foul beast didn't hold back now, did it? She whips around to face her companion. Bard, she bows. I told you to keep her out of trouble. You should know better than to steal from an ogre. Only claps, shrugs and wings, and Vincent's from his injuries. As she pauses for breath, she sees your chance to up. Who are you? I'm Ariadne, the blacksmith's daughter, she says, surprised. We met the Black Ale pub the night before you set off to steal Adesia's charm? I almost brought you wrist to uh, wrestling, remember? Uh, Adesia's charm? She pokes at her the broken ornament gingerly. Forgive me if I don't take it. The curse of the Adesia's charm only affects the wielder. If it makes you feel any better, the ogre is probably starving now too. In the looks of the silver work, this is an old relic indeed. Uh, ogre? Drachnar, she says. Oh, Drachnar the Mighty, as he is known. Has lived in this part for an age. Many have tried to fell the beast before you two misfits. That's for sure, she means. But few live to tell their tale. The ogre is notorious for ambushing travelers and traders alike. Not even Empire soldiers are safe in this part. Accumulated a wealth of treasure plucked from his victims, including the cursed relic you have now. Okay, Ariadne shakes her head. One blow from Darkness Club would crush you. You won't survive it unless you get a good set of armor on you. Seriously? Listen, I have friends traveling for. It's currently heading here. Okay. Um, Sias will sort you out with some good and proper armor. The piece of the Odysseus charm weighs heavy in your pack. You wish to fling it into the mire, but some strange magic stays your hand. Starving and injured, you rest a while in town. Hehe, <laughs> you feel cold stone against your cheek, head pounding, you open your blurry eyes. The unmistakable scrape of metal wakes you fully from your slumber and you slowly take stock of your surroundings. And I take a sip of the Okay. Okay. Okay, this part I can touch. There's some gold. There's some gold. There's some food between them. But no health? Yeah, seems like it. I'm so glad that I can turn around. Oh, turn the view. Just like this. Can you imagine? Doing this in the first hand of faith? I don't. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, that was bad. That was a way to close as well. Okay. I think I need to feel this. We are dying, but we, right now we are still alive. Yeah, the dodge here is not very oh, responding. Probably there are two. Oh, well, not two, that's a, a second of delay.
Please, let me heal. You follow the stars upward until you emerge in the forest, the morning sun born, burning your eyes. What? You fumble in your hay or sack for something to eat. Happily, you find a half eaten past tree. Past the end, try to find your way out of the woods. Hello. God damn it. <laughs> okay, that was very nice. With some luck, you find your way to higher and drier ground. Okay. Staying in the mire. I definitely don't want to go against the anarchists of greed. Three of them. Yeah, I'm about to fight against the empire. Shield me. Shield me. I see No, you don't. Please, don't try. What did I say? No, you don't. Now, are you ready? Nope. Thank you, nonetheless. Give me some health. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I need at least four. Thank you. Okay, that that ten defense will be useful. Flash fifty enemies as they block. Okay. We arrive at the city. Yes, we have ten gold. Uh, the daisy? Yes! To your horror, blood, blood begins to blossom under your shirt. You pull it up to see this mini as a super official cut, but you wonder how it will cook nonetheless. And I'm dead. You should focus more on defense than offense, Wait. I think. What? Okay, the so opportunity to strike back will always present itself. Eat a daisy. Okay. Ooh, cheerful. Yeah, very nice. Finally had the gold. Finally had the hmm. For Dilemma, I guess. And let's get rid of. Oh, is it out? It's out. Okay. If you fail to take tokens with you, you will lose the opportunity to oh, open new cards. Oh, stop it! I don't know who Even most so, of, two of those tokens cards. can weigh you down and make your challenges harder. How many people do you meet who bend rather than rise? Without strength, what is purity? Yep, I know. I know everything. Right of the bad fight. Yeah, that's great. And silence. And basket of steel. Give me empire. Silencers have unblockable attack, and I don't do not trust myself enough to find them health at this point. I'm no happier to be here than you lot. So I can do this with their then range attack. Where are you guys? 
Nope, you don't. Nope, you don't as well. Thank you. Well, that's easy. Luckily, I don't think we'll survive it anyway, but there's that. Ooh, nice. Some weapons, this one included, yeah. require a great hero to carry them. Swamp once again. Oh, this one. And at least. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, Okay, give him and eat. I think this will just reverse the let's eat the luminous purple flower. Games that is within horrible. games within games. Please. Goddamn. I hate you. Learn the oh, future so at your own peril. You think I have not turned to oracles and or greens in order to see how okay. this ends? I only know it all ends in death. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Oh, oh well, at least we feel. Went through all of that. Just go. Go just in case. Okay. I think I don't have enough food to survive, but whatever. Thank you very much for that. Careful. Your supplies are running low. I don't care. I'll die anyway. I see gold. I think that I can get there. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, I can go through. Oh. I know that looks strange and it felt strange as well, believe me. Something there's some gold. Nope. Yep. I have no idea how that worked, but I don't care. I must some food. Some more food. That's all that can be. Um, I do play it. Ooh. Fame alone huh? has got oh. you here. Okay. Let action carry you forward. You have gathered sure. enough pieces. Now let us see what that has gained you. Sure. Of course. Do you have Empire soldiers? No, you don't. Of course you don't. Um, fight the raiders. Yeah. 
Marksman's Bane. There are none so created by the infantry as Marksman. Small wonder this weapon is prized by them. I hope this works! Time to go. Kill them all. Wait, why is my damage? Oh. Oh. Sorry. Why am I I'm just higher than should be? Oh my goodness, you're really it was my fault. Oh my goodness. Yep. Ooh, thank you. A win here sets the tone for your challenge. This particular card is below you, even as it represents a quick means to easy profit. Steal more. I guess we need to steal all of it. I get this one or this one. Uh, God damn it. So close. Oh well, more clothes. Yeah, this one please. Really? What the hell? Okay, I'm going to die. Starvation has been the end of many adventurers. Gather yourself before you travel further. Yeah, I forgot to... Bye bye, King Maker. It has one defense. you can gain the tools you need for the road ahead. Mm, I hope so. A cone of smoke and the clang of metal are the first signs that you are in the right place. As you round the bend, you see the fort outside the gates of Blackwater. You spy your new acquaintance Ariadne assisting a blacksmith on the bellows. Ah, there you are! Ariadne says with a smile. She removes her gloves to wipe her brow. These are the two I was telling you about, Anders, she says to the blacksmith. I almost broke this one's wrist in an arm wrestle. So I hear you're out to fight an ogre, the blacksmith says. My specialty is improving armor and helms and the like. I must admit, it's normally only horses and arm equipment I mend these days, so it might take a while. I assure you, it will be worth your time. Eh, uh, what? How's my shield? It's 4 defense and it's 8. Upgrade my armor, please. Yes, I don't want to do it. You hand the smith your armor and, the, and he begins ex to examining the item thoroughly, inspecting every joint and seam. Yes, I can certainly prove this, but it will take several days. I'm headed to Cotton Moor. Meet me there and the job will be done. Oh, if you bring another item to me there, I will see if I can improve that one as well. You thank others and continue on your, job, on your way. Alchemy is one of the pure arts. That says little for its practitioners, however. Countless jars and obscure artifacts clutter the room. On a central workbench, a pure glass can be there seen as of a flame. Ah! I see you find my laboratory then, a voice exclaims. From behind a pile of dusty books, a robed figure emerges, clad in a pointy hat and a pair of thick spectacles. He smiles. Here to create the elusive elixir of life? Or perhaps it is called desire? 
all is possible through alchemy. Alas, I have yet to prove that such things are indeed possible, he explains. No matter. Say, would you care assist me with my experiment? Sure. Very well, let's begin. Take a jar and place its contents in the big cap. He says as he dips his green ink well and prepares to hide. Remember, you must keep the elixir pure. You take a jar from the shelf and ask for the lid. Oh. Here we see yet another wheel. Each like different, yet pure? each bearing their own similarities. That was easy. <laughs> oh, no, it's good. The jar contains a collection of blue feathers. You place one in the bigger and it dissolves instantly. A clear liquid gains the faintest tint of blue. Excellent! The alchemist says as he scrolls feverishly in his ledger. Now pick another! You reach for the next jar. Okay. Now I don't know which one. I'm gonna screw that one. Okay, let's go for the feathers. It seems. The jar contains bright red feathers. Sprinkle a handful into the beaker and they dissolve instantly. Fine, didn't think the eggs go for them. Most interesting, the alchemist remarks as continues with red and blue letter. I'll pick one more. Uh, it goes faster or is it me? Oh my god, no, I screwed up. Shame. As you sprinkle the yellow mushrooms in the flask, the liquid instantly loses its purple and turns a dull brown. The leaks of bubbles and froths before exploding from earth, shattering pan, sending fragments of glass and brown goo around the room. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, what have I done? Alchemist cries as he sinks to the floor, head in hand. My laboratory is ruined. The site to leave the alchemist asks you to put in the mess. <sighs> Buy food. Yep. Thank you. You oh, must be course. ready for whatever will come. The usurper will give us no warning. A slight rustling in the reeds is all the one you can get. But your life is in grave danger. And we have no armor. And we have 13 life. This ain't gonna go well. This ain't gonna go well. Nope. You don't do that. No, you don't do that, okay? That was way too close. Really? I pressed the... Oh. Nope. I die in the most which my tries to take the battle to them <laughs> next time. He took figures for me. Yeah. Ring of preparation. Okay. Well bested by strength again. I think we'll next time we'll just skip it and we'll go for the armor. No, thank you very much. Still alive. And see you soon!